Hello everyone and welcome back to Undial Learners Pre-K. Happy Friday! Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly your airplane to one side, fly your airplanes to the other side, fly your airplane to the middle. What letter do we look like when we have our arms outstretched like this? T! We look like the letter T. So take those airplane wings and make a big circle out in front of you. Next, take that circle up over your head and stretch to one side, stretch to the other side, one last stretch up at the top, and bring your circle back down in front. If you know the words to this song, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day so far. And let's continue on with our calendar and weather chart. First, we need to go over the date. And when we see the date, we start off with the month. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? April, that's right. The month is April. And today is April 23rd. So let's move our chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was April 22nd. And today is April 23rd, 2021. Or you can also say that the year is 2021. There are two ways to say the year, and both of them are correct. Will you say the date with me one more time? Today is April 23rd, 2021, or 2021. Can I see your counting fingers like this? Let's warm them up to give them a little stretch. But just like yesterday, Instead of counting all the days that we've had already in the month of April, let's use our counting fingers and let's count the remaining days or the days that we have left in the month of April. So let's take a look. After today, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven days left after today in the month of April. Keep those seven fingers up like this because now we're going to sing the days of the week song. And because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers. It goes like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was, do you remember? Here's your clue, Th Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. So today is Friday. Today is Friday, the last day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be Saturday, the first day of the weekend. But let's go back to today and let's sing Today is Friday together. Will you sing with me? Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday all day long. Let's travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. Do you remember what the season is? Spring, that's right, it's springtime. And when we travel back down, this means that it's time to sing the weather song together. Are you ready to sing with me? What's the weather, what's the weather? Can you tell, can you tell? Is the sun shining, is the rain falling? Can you tell, can you tell? My picture is the same again as it was for the last couple of days. It's a picture of a cloud 
and the sun. But today when I look outside, it's mostly sunny. There are only a few clouds in the sky. I see a few thin cirrus clouds floating in the blue sky. And my temperature is on orange. It's another warm day where I live. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Take a look outside of your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So because today is Friday, it's going to be our last day talking about this letter. Do you remember what the sound this letter makes is? N, N. You're right. And what is this letter called? N. This is a lowercase n, and n says n, n. Okay, let's take a look and see what's inside of the letter box. So, this is something that starts with the letter n, n. Here's your first clue. This is a number. This was actually the number of the week last week. This number comes after the number 18 and before the number 20. Do you know what it could be? Here's your last clue. This is a double digit number. Let's take a look. 19. This is the number 19. 19 starts with the letter N. N. This was the number of the week last week. And first, when you write the number 19, you write the number one, and then nine, 19. This is how you write a lowercase n, n. One more time. And after the number 19 comes the number 20. You're right. The number 20 is the number of the week. And 20 is also a double digit number. But first you write this number, two. And then you write this number, zero, 20. And let's count 20 tally marks together. I'm just going to draw them on the bottom of the chalkboard and we can count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 goes across. So before we count the 20 objects, let's count how many groups of five that we see. Get those counting fingers ready. I see one, two, three, four. Four groups of five makes 20 tally marks. And now we have something else to count today. I have 20 acorn tops. I want to make sure that I collect all of them. Sometimes they hide inside of the box hard to see where they all are. Oh, there was the last one. It was hiding. Will you count them with me? I'm going to make two rows of 10 acorn tops and all together we'll have 20. One, two, three, four, five. These two are connected. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. These two are also connected. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, and the last two are connected, 19, 20. 20 acorn tops. So I had one row of 10, two rows of 10, and all together there were 20 acorn tops. Today will also be our last day saying flower in sign language. So get your hand ready and pretend to smell a flower like this. One more time. Flower. This week we learned that flowers start off as a seed or a bulb. And today I have a really fun experiment to share with you and it has to do with a fruit seed. Let's go check it out. I have a fun experiment to share with you. It's called jumping apple seeds. I have about a half of a cup of white vinegar in this glass. I have one teaspoon of baking soda and I have some apple seeds. They're very small and brown. I took an apple and I cut it in half and I just took the little seeds out of the center. So I'm going to drop each seed into the glass of vinegar. And next, I'm going to take the baking soda and I'm going to pour it into the glass and watch what happens to the seeds. The vinegar and baking soda are reacting together there's one seed. Let's see what happens. Let the fizz fade away a little bit. And look at those apple seeds moving around and dancing. Wow, they're jumping all around the glass. There they go. And when they're tired, they float back to the top. Oh, and they keep bobbing up and down in the glass. Jumping apple seeds. This is a very simple experiment to try at home at your house. All you need are some apple seeds, some baking soda, some white vinegar, mix them all together, and watch those seeds dance. Before we move on to today's work, I have a poem to share with you, and it has to do with a type of a flower called a tulip. Now, a tulip is similar to a daffodil because daffodils do not start from a seed, just like a tulip does not start from a seed. Do you remember what a daffodil grows from? A bulb. And daffodils also grow from bulbs. This poem goes like this. Three little daffodils that I once grew. A white one, a red one, a pink one too. Will this one little tulip, it grew and grew and grew. It grew larger than the other two. It grew taller than the other two. Are you ready to see your work for the day? Let's go check it out. For today's work, you will need some Play-Doh, a rolling pin, and some organic material that you find outside. So I went outside and I found this branch from a white pine tree. It has these green pine needles on it. I have a weed. I'm not exactly sure what kind of plant this is, but I thought that it would be cool for today's work. I have a snow glory flower, a clover, and a dandelion leaf. So what we're going to do today is we are going to make prints of the organic material that you find outside. So start off by taking a piece of Play-Doh and you can roll it out. You can make it as large or as small as you'd like it to be. Maybe you want to make a big piece of Play-Doh with all of the different prints on it, or maybe you want to make individual prints on separate pieces of Play-Doh. 
it's completely up to you. I think I'm going to try to fit two prints on this piece of Play-Doh. So let's start off with the Snow Glory flower. I'm going to put it on top of my Play-Doh like this and just lightly roll back and forth with my rolling pin. And when I take it out, you can see the imprint that it made in the Play-Doh. Now let's try that again using the branch from the pine tree. Roll over it like a steamroller working and lift it up. Wow, look at that one. That one is a little bit easier to see. So friends, an extension to this work would be to let the Play-Doh dry once you've finished your prints. And then once it's dry, you can paint over them and put them somewhere to show. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can I see you wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Join me next week as we continue our springtime botanical focus. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you on Monday.